Hey guys, me and Alex are back with another candy tasting video and you guessed it, it's more American candy! Woohoo! Woo this box, little interesting fact, has been on a very long journey. Really? Poor Otterly who sent us this box had troubles at customs, they then had trouble here. This box was actually opened by the post office and, re and like repackaged. Really? Yeah, so it's finally here and I'm so glad we're filming this. I wonder um, if there's a few things that customs may have um, nibbled on. Yeah! <laughs> okay, should we start with the letter? Yes, might as well. Nice big one. Hi Kate and Alex, my name is Otterly, pronounced Ortley, so Waterly. it's actually Ortley, because we we know um, the name Ottley in England, but we would say Ottley, but Ortley, Ortley, almost like it's got an accent behind it. You Ortley get that right. Ortley, and I was born and raised in Northfield, New Hampshire, which is a small town in a New England state right above Massachusetts. I'm sure they say Hampshire as well. Hampshire, whereas we say Hampshire. Hampshire. They oh say yeah, Hampshire, don't they? Do they? I've been living in Manchester, which is so funny you should say you live in Manchester because Manchester is also a place in England. Manchester. We have Manchester. family that actually are from Liverpool, which is really close to Manchester. But this is Manchester, New Hampshire for 13 years. It is the biggest city in the state. I started watching your channel a few months ago and I absolutely love it. Being a single mum working two jobs, I'm a nurse, she says, is exhausting. And at night after my son goes to bed, I sit down and relax while watching your episodes. I love your Amer American candy videos and decided I would send you other options available in the USA. Isn't that nice to know that we can be someone's yeah. uh, relax sit time. and relax. Yeah. Then she put, I hope you enjoy everything. Take care, Ottilie Dean. What a Ortley. 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 Ortley I'm gonna say Ortley just because that's how you've yeah. said it. So thank you, Ortley. What a pretty name. Lovely name, yeah. Lovely name. It's not one I've ever heard before. So should we start with crisps and snacks and then we'll read these yeah, out as we as go we along? Them. Wanna get excited? Well, I'm, We're I'm finally up. trying the combo oh, the sweet, sweet and salty. What? So I'll get a few out. So we've got three combos. Spicy buffaloes. Oh yeah, look. Do you remember Stacy was asking us, do we prefer the pretzel combos yeah. or, or the, the baked? baked? So two of these say baked and that one just says stuffed. Or do you want to try boogles? Yeah. Mm. And this actually says about putting them on your fingers. Yeah, so um America's number one finger hat. <laughs> I thought I was gonna say go on. So um a few people commented to say that they put bugles on their fingers. Oh. And it's so funny that this actual packet tells you to put it on your fingers. Mm. America's number one finger hat. Oh yeah. You get them wavy, bro. Mm. I'm gonna have to have quite small things for this. Yeah. Are these nice. I'm not so sure. Got like a burnt cheese flavour. Mm. The bugles do. The ranch is so mild. Mm. Unless it's because I've got a cold, I can't taste it. I can't really taste the ranch. And I love ranch. So do you, don't you? I love ranch. Dipping crust into ranch. Apparently ranch is quite a Texas thing. Probably. Because when I was in New York with mum, I, I asked for ranch dip. Because I was like, I'm in yeah. America, surely. Anyway, these, um, this mum and the daughter were sat next to us and she was like, is that ranch? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, she was like, why didn't I think to order that or something? I think she was saying it's very uh, very Texas. I'm surprised you it got it here. It's probably like Texas barbecue. Mm. I like bugles, but considering how much I love ranch, I can't actually taste I much ranch. I can't really taste ranch. Those bugles are just like a seven. Combos. Combos. What should we try first? I think the seven layer dip. Yeah, because those Have might be a bit spicy. Them? I've no, seen them. we've seen them. Well, isn't seven layer dip? Tell me if I'm wrong, like but isn't like guac, salsa, sour cream? What if I say tangy fiesta? Fiesta? Fiesta. It almost tastes like well, limey. In Spanish, fiesta means party. Mm. It literally tastes like I'm eating, what's it called? Yeah, a Dorito yeah. with the guac, mm. the sour cream, a bit of cheese in there. You can taste the layers. Yeah, I feel like I'm at a Mexican restaurant. Mm. Like, it really tastes like black bean. Can mm. you? Mmm. Tastes like I'm having a taco. At first, I was a bit like, mm, not sure on that flavour, but once you, as you eat it, you almost go through the seven layers. Mm. They're really good. Shout them out as you try them. Well, as I say, I've got a bit of guac in oh, there. Oh, salsa, guac, pico de gallo, sour cream. There's black no bean. beans in that photo, Cheese. but it definitely feels like. Mm. I can taste the black bean. So let's rate the combos after we've mm. eaten them all. Blue cheese? Yeah, so this is buffalo blue cheese. Now, I do like some blue cheese, but sometimes it's too strong for me. It does smell cheesy. It does. And look, these are completely different ones. These ones are pretzels. These are the pretzels. Vote down below, do you prefer pretzel or baked? I love the pretzel. Mm. 
I think the pretzel are the best because it's got that saltiness. Mm. Salty, salty. And that blue cheese, oh, slightly spicy in there. Do it say spice? No. Oh, a spicy buffalo zing. Yeah, it's got a spicy buffalo zing to it. I can taste that. These are great. It's almost, it's not like a spice that's too hot. It's a spice that stings your tongue a bit. Mm. Is that burning? It is a zing. Mm, it's a zing. zing. They're really nice. Mm. I was expecting that to be a real strong blue cheese. That's really good. So these are the honey sriracha. I think, if I remember correctly, I think these will be my favorite. Really? Because they've got like a little kick, but they're also quite sweet. <laughs> Quarter. Mm. Let's do a poll. Mm. Click there for the poll. Which one of these four is your favorite? For me, these have got a bit of spice. Mm. And they're nice, but they've got like a sweetness to them. So you quite like sriracha, they don't mm. you? I've kind of been put off sriracha since our WTF episode. <laughs> Link up there. Okay, went in with the sriracha. I really haven't had it since because I'm a bit put off. Right. Yeah, and almost balsamic vinegar as well. Mm. We are finally trying the sweet and salty caramel pretzel combos. I love that it's in a black pack. I just don't know if I would just rather a savoury version. Sometimes savoury's best, isn't it? No, just think you like oh, the pretzel. But if it's pretzel. No, I just got, got like so little, much of your water on my face. A little caramel in the middle. Oh. They smell so sweet. Because I forget that you can get sweet pretzels. Mm. Auntie Anne's. These are good because they're not overly sweet, are they? No. I like those. But I kind of feel like I might prefer them just on a separate day where I've not eaten any other combos because you've almost got too many flavours in your mouth. Really nice, but like you say, they're not too sweet. But I suppose that's because they're salty as well. Mm. I really like they're those. Almost like butterscotchy. Mmm. Okay. Do you want to bring them out and put them in order? So. The best. The second best. Third best. No, actually. Really? Yeah. Whereas mine is first, second, third, fourth. I'll keep these then. Ask me on another day, it could be different. Do you not think sometimes your taste depends yeah. on what day it is and everything? Oh, should we do that as we're on caramel? Mm. So I'm really excited for this because you get junior mints and for Christmas we also got junior the peppermint version. Yeah. Whereas these are Junior Caramels and I don't think there's any mint in sight. So I'm so excited for this. New and improved, softer caramel and more flavour. Ooh, they look really good. So um, they're much rounder, aren't they? I don't know. Mm. Oh, mm. they're harder than I thought. Mm. Well, they're not hard. Well. But because Junior Mints, if you break them, it's literally so seepy, isn't it? Mm. I thought it was going to be like a pop almost. It looked like a weird flavour towards the end, or was that just me? How funny. You never guess what. What? Maybe that's the funny taste at the end. Hershey's. Tootsie Roll Industries. Yeah, maybe. It's like sweet almost. Mm. Someone messaged me the other day to say that, um, found an article saying Hershey's doesn't qualify as chocolate in the UK or something. Really? Because it hasn't got a Certain percentage of, of chocolate. And she said that's probably why we don't like it, because yeah. we're not used to things that aren't actually chocolate. Mm. These have a really nice bite to them. They do, don't they? They're not the caramel where it's like, oh, am I gonna lose the tooth? They're right, because they said they improved the recipe, didn't mm. they? Yeah, I really like, it's hard for me to tell because I haven't got like my full tasting powers today because of my cold. I'm gonna give those an eight, because I do like those, but I have had better caramel and chocolate. I'd give them a seven, I think. Okay. I chose these because these look really exciting. Mm. I, I like crunch already, but I also like things that are clumped, like yeah. little clumps. I and think that's really cool. This is Bunch of Crunch. And do you remember Liz and the Girl sent us, by the brand Crunch, oh, a little packet. A little bag, yeah. But inside the packet was... Nuts. Some mini cookies, some nuts, some crunch, things like that. Yeah. We've got I'm a few little go boxes here. I'm actually going to open this, right? Because did right you open... Oh, you opened no, it, right? No, I didn't. I'm going to open it, right? I keep going to drink this as if it's my drink. Bunch yeah, of Yeah, this does look good, doesn't it? Oh my word, they're so cute and tiny. That'll do you think you've got some of that. Yeah, because for Christmas, um, Mum and Kate brought me back some... Brookside. Brookside. The clumps, Crunch. clusters. Mm. They're so good. Mmm. They're nice. Mmm. They're almost like, um, I don't know if 
this happens in your country, but in England we have um, a yogurt company called Muller, and there is this <laughs> Muller corner. So it's like these square yogurts, and inside you get a corner of a yogurt, and then a corner <laughs> of like chocolate, fruit, things like that. This is literally like the cereal That's version. That's the cereal bit in the corner, isn't it? Oh, put Very that in good. a bowl with some milk. Mm. Wouldn't that be great? Mmm. I actually really like that. The juniors are going down to seven because these are an eight. No, no. Yeah, really the good. juniors are still a six for me. I like the crunch. Can I suggest one more thing? Sorry, I've taken over yep. for a little bit. I think you're going to be in, really interested. There's Milky. a white Twix. Yeah, I did see that earlier on. Have you, you ever had that? a white Twix? I've never have heard you? of a white Twix. No, I have. I've never even heard of it. It's like we get white lion bars. Sometimes places like Home Bargains sell things Ooh. like this. Oh. Wowzers. Look at that. It's very cool, isn't it? I'm surprised you wanted to try this actually, because you're not. No, the I didn't want to try it. Oh. You... I wanted you to try it. Oh, Ooh, try look it though. Look at that. Not bad actually. Mmm. That's nice. I prefer the milk chocolate, but mm. would you more likely have a Twix with white chocolate on? Do you know what? I probably would just stick to a classic. Really? But that's probably mm. just because you've had it for so many years. Mm. A white one almost seems weird. However, that's delicious because I feel like with a normal Twix you taste the chocolate first, whereas with the white chocolate Twix you almost get the caramel and the biscuit mm. and then you end on white chocolate. Yeah, and actually as someone mm. who doesn't particularly like white chocolate, that white chocolate flavour is nice. Mmm, that's very really nice. That white chocolate reminds me of something but I can't think. Mmm, caramel. Mmm, what are you giving that? I'm going to give that an eight I think. Definitely very good. I'm going to give that an eight and a half. Mm. That's so good. Mmm. Runts. What's runts? Have you heard of it? Well, I've only heard of one of the litter. Look, I've heard of cool. these. I think these are really classic in America. So she says, these are hard and crunchy fruit shaped and flavored candies. I don't see them out as often as when I was a kid now, but you can still get them here and there. And it says no artificial flavors. Oh. The good stuff. Made in, in the USA. USA. Imagine being at the cinema. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> I love these. A runt's what you get in those American machines and twists. Twist things. I think so. Because we've those definitely bananas. seen these before, haven't we? Or like a cheaper version. Yeah. But look, that is just awesome, isn't it? I reckon growing up, I'd love this as well. Just let oh. you know, a portion is 12 pieces. I've only got bananas. <laughs> wow, they are hard. Mmm. And that tastes like a banana. That's delicious. I think they are those things out mm. of the gumball machines. That banana run is so good. Ooh. I love the way they kind of go sherbety afterwards. I'm going to try now. Once you've broken them down. They're delicious. What's the purple one? Great. Mm. You had a great. Mm -mm. I definitely think they're like a classic American mm. kids sweet. Do you still love those? They're like a nine out of ten. Probably like a seven. I was eight, not expecting that. Some quick Sour beer. Patch Kids. Would you? Would you? We're finally have trying watermelon, watermelon ones. Are they just watermelon? These are just the watermelon. We've not tried them yet. Do you want to skip to that first? No, it's only because I was thirsty. I was gonna... So like, but actually, they were so good. I have wanted to try the Sour Patch watermelon for so long. Oh wow! I wasn't expecting that. It's much more pink than I was expecting. I was expecting yeah, it to look be like more... more green on there. Yeah. Don't Get your hands in there. I, want, I was no, about to say, the I want to looks sour. much more natural. Yeah, than I was expecting. Mm. Mm. They're really good. Mm hmm. Wow. Mm. Just what you want. I think they're one of my favourites ever. Really? What are you giving that? A 10. I'm giving that a 10 as well. <laughs> I was, because you weren't really saying anything, I was like, oh, do you not really like them? I tried to psych you out. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 24. Doesn't mean it's as good as it. No. These are Mike and Ike Sunday sweets. Now, I really just like almost the original ones. So sometimes when brands start bringing out limited edition flavours, they're not as good, but we'll see. So, what flavours have we got? Brown is chocolate, yellow is banana split, there's a crushed pineapple, there's a caramel drizzle and a cherry on top, and a white ice cream. I've got banana split. Or chocolate fudge, I think. Yeah, I don't think chocolate fudge would go well. It's chocolate like... fudge doesn't work because it tastes a bit like Tootsie Roll. Mm. When you try and flavour something that's sugary, 
chocolate, it doesn't work. Well, that's what I think with jelly bellies. I love jelly belly jelly beans that are fruit flavoured. Mm. But when they start doing the, do you remember we tried the Dunkin' Donuts? Mm. When you start adding like chocolate to a jelly sweet, I just think it's really weird. Caramel. I just had the crushed pineapple. Was it nice? Yeah. I feel like the crushed pineapple would be quite good. Mm. Mm. Although actually the caramel is really good. That caramel is quite good. I like some of them more than others. I would say the vanilla ice cream, the banana is really good and the caramel is actually really nice. But like you said, I think I prefer just the originals. Mm. What are you giving those? I'm going to give them a a six. I think the normal ones are just better. I'm probably going to give them a six as well. I much prefer the normal ones. Mm. But those vanilla ice cream ones are... Vanilla! Vanilla are much better. Sweethearts! Mini Chewy. So it's got the new look. I wonder what the old look was. We haven't tried much sweet tarts before. I think we've got something else in here which is sweet tart. This. I've never heard of it before. I oh, have. Right. Right. This is sweet tarts, cherry punch, soft and chewy rope. That's interesting. And I feel like one of these is vegan because I watched Riverdale and Madeline Pesh or whatever her name is, she's vegan. Mm. And she did a brand deal with sweet tarts. Oh really? Because she was like, these are like one of my favorite sweets. Because they're vegan. And it says no artificial flavours. Huh. Doesn't say what fla uh, mm. what the flavours are though. These are nice. The good stuff made in the USA. Wasn't well, it Sweet Tart where we had those big discs and you like break a bit off? Yeah. I don't remember that. And someone said that they open it and bash it on the table to break it into pieces. These are really good. Eight and a half. It says follow your tart. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Open this. Mm -hmm. Good. This is the kind of thing I can get you on like board with. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What a nice texture. Mm. Slightly plasticky at first. No, I kind of like it. I like the way it's not too hard to like, mm. chewy. Rather than, mm. They really do have a little punch in there, don't they? Yeah, tang. Mm. And they're not super... Nice. The cherry's not too strong either. Sometimes the cherry for me can be a it's bit... It's more of a natural cherry. Mm. I would give these an eight and a half. And I'll I, give those a seven and a half. I'll probably give these a seven and give these an eight and a half. They're pretty good. You prefer those? I prefer these. So uh, mm. you can have right, those. I'll have these. <laughs> Please, can we try this? This is on Ottilie's little bit yeah, down sure. here. So this is Nick, Nick L Nip. Sorry? Can you try to say that? It's really confusing. Nick L Nip. Nick L Nip. These Mini are, drinks. Yeah, these are so interesting. I've seen these before on like, Adverts, like old adverts in America. These are wax bottles with flavoured sugar water inside. <laughs> Bite off the end of the bottles and drink them. To be honest, I don't think I remember them being overly good, but they are very nostalgic to me. I'm so interested. It's got like it's oh, in a- Oh, division of Tootsie Roll Industries. Really? <laughs> Nick L. Nip. These are just so interesting. I feel like as a child, I would have loved this. What's the name again? Nick L. Nip. Nick. And they're wax bottles. So they're almost. Bite them, drink them, chew them. So they're almost like those um, lips that um, yeah, Mike sent us. Yeah, chew it. Yeah. You don't want to chew it, would you? That's so weird. Oh, right off it. That's horrible. What is that? Why would they do that? It's, it's bleeding. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is the strangest experience. <laughs> Kid Kate would have loved this. Not don't that I'm swap. enjoying no, the flavour. No, don't swap with you, but you can have that if you want. No, you sure you're finished? Yeah, I'm finished. I wonder if this is lime or apple. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> so is this. That tastes so bad. <laughs> Do you know what they almost taste like? In the UK, we have like these strips of plastic, like <laughs> liquid that you can put in the freezer. It almost tastes like that, but a bit more artificially. <laughs> These are so interesting. It's so weird that you're allowed to chew that. Are you allowed to swallow it? Or do you just like chew on them? It's not often that there's something that we have I just really <laughs> don't get. <laughs> I, uh, I have seen these before and I really have wanted to try them. So I'm really happy I've tried them. I'm gonna try chew on the lid. I'd love to know if you guys had that growing up. Because for Ottilie and that, it, it's quite a kid thing, you know. Yeah. It is very, you know, what's it called? Fun, you do something with your food, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, getting to like chew the top off. Yeah, then... how funny. Okay, not the greatest uh, fan of those. Not the greatest showman. <laughs> is that sugar daddy? Yes. 
Because we've tried sh sugar something. Because so many people commented us because we tried sugar babies. Sugar babies. And then everyone was saying how you should try a sugar. You daddy. can get a sugar daddy on a stick. And I was like, yeah, you could probably get a sugar daddy if you go on Gumtree or something <laughs> like that. Or so this I'm sure is there's websites out there. <laughs> www.sugardaddy.com. Yeah. Oh, should have known. So this is a delicious sugar is that you got daddy your sugar milk caramel <laughs> pop. No, I'm the sugar mummy. Oh yeah, you're a sugar mummy. He's the coo yeah. I'm the cougar. You've got, you've got a toy boy. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Just keep rolling it. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. This does look good, doesn't Shall it? Shall I bite, break a bit off? Yeah. So what do people prefer, a sugar daddy or a sugar baby? And I'm not, so I'm meaning- So sugar babies? Were the they just they the little- They were the little, the little things in that pot. So what's your verdict on this? I don't like it. Um, you don't? No, because I hate things where I feel like I'm going break to break teeth. my teeth. And also that's partly down to the fact that I'm impatient and I want it. If I'm gonna eat something, I wanna eat it. Yeah, I didn't like the root, the hardness of it, mm. but the flavor, and oh, if I had that in my armpit for like five minutes, just being able to put my teeth through that would be the best thing ever. Yeah. Like caramel on a stick, delicious. Nine. Six. Okay, while Alex was over there. I picked up a Charleston chew that's been in the freezer for a couple of hours. Now, we have been sent, oh wow, we have been sent a strawberry, this is the strawberry one, Charleston Chew. So many people told us to try it frozen and the pack even says that. So I thought we should try it frozen this time. Are you allowed to eat it frozen? Surely- you allowed? Like surely it would just break your teeth. What? You're an adult, okay? You can do whatever you like. Within reason. It's turned into a completely different texture. Right. Almost like honeycomb. Well, because this remember. is like chewy. Oh, Try yeah. that now. I'm glad I kept half out. Mmm. The strawberry flavor is nice. I love that it's in a tray. Try a bit of that. Oh, wow, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is it because it's like a nougat marshmallow? Mm. So, what do you prefer? I think I prefer chewy. Yeah. Mmm. Let's have a go. Although, usually when you freeze things, the flavor gets less. Mm, and I feel like the flavor in this is stronger when it's frozen. Mmm. I like that. Mmm. I think I prefer that to the normal Charleston too. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think I prefer the non-frozen. I just the... can't believe the fro what it's like when it's frozen. Mm. I really like the frozen one. You're right, because unfrozen, it does have like little air holes in it. Yeah. So that when it's frozen, it does go like honeycomb. How funny. So when people say, oh, we don't get anything like crunchy in America, I'll say, freezer chow some chew. Yeah. That bite is like a honeycomb. Yeah. Mmm. Isn't that crazy? Mm. It's almost like a brittle, like a nut brittle. Mm. That's really good. What are you giving that? I'll give it an eight. That's really good. I'll probably mm. give that an eight and a half. Let's do another little poll up there. Are you a Charleston Chew frozen or non-frozen? And then comment down below, original or strawberry. I think I'm non-frozen, definitely. Really? I quite mm. like the frozen, but I do like the texture of mm. the non-frozen. I can on. see something that says, oh my s'mores. Oh, what's the blue thing in front of it? Milky Way. Budge. I have never seen this before. What the fudge? Is this new? It doesn't say new It's a two bar. So this is a two bar. Although it says fudge, I wouldn't say that was fudge. I'd say that was like brownie. So fudge in the UK. So milk, let's remind me, Milky Way in America is like our Mars, our Mars bar. bar. And then this has got fudge. And then instead of that um, nougaty Nougat. bottom, it says fudge. So milk chocolate, cream caramel, creamy caramel, Fudge nougat, save one for later, twist to close. <laughs> or share it with a friend. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say like, save the planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's more like a fudge than the photo. It's quite dry. Funnily enough, that actually tastes more like our Milky Way. The normal one definitely tastes like a Mars bar. That tastes more like a real Milky Way. That tastes like um, if you go to McDonald's and get a fudge sundae. Is it? Do you know what? I like that more than I was expecting because even though I'm a real chocolate fan, I never used to like chocolate cake or anything, and that looked really brownie-like, didn't it? Mm. I like that more than I was thinking. However, I do just prefer normal Milky Way or Milky Way Simply Caramel. Milky Way Simply Caramel is the gold standard. I don't think you can get any better. So I thought this was gonna be quite good. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good as I thought. 
It was still good though. I'd probably rather just have a normal one. Mm. But I'm so glad we tried that because I've never seen that before. Okay. Should we try that thing that says, oh my schmores? Mm. I schmores. feel like, I don't know about you, but I feel like we've had something from this sort of brand before. So this is know. from Chuao. Fluffy marshmallows and crushed honey graham crackers reunite <gasps> in milk chocolate. They reunite. We were sent something else. It's like else. a film trailer. That bit, I think, got like a marshmallow attached to it. Do you want oh, to really? Like oh, look at the size oh, of it. Oh, wow. That. Should we be getting it all out? Oh, wow. It's literally like a little bits of marshmallow in it. What am I doing? Do you reckon one's got a massive bit of um, graham cracker on it? <laughs> Maybe. That tastes like mm. a raisin. The consistency. That's good. That's some good stuff, that. Mm. Mm. That is nice. It almost tastes like a UK Kit Kat. Mm. I guess that's the graham, the graham cracker, cracker with the chocolate. And the mixture it of does. the chocolate and... It's kind of Kit Kat. Mmm. Mmm, really I good. I really like that. Mm. And that chocolate's really nice as well. What are you giving that? I think that's a nine, if not a ten. I'm going to give that an eight. Have you ever tried this brand before? I'm wondering if this is like local to Orterly. My story, in my 30s I left a tech career in Venezuela. Venezuela? To chase my passion for food all the way to culinary school in Paris. Now Very as a right. chocolatier, I have the privilege of living out my job by crafting delicious premium chocolate experiences for you. I hope they make you smile, maybe even giggle. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah, <laughs> so you'll share, no. So you'll share the joy together. Let's make the world an even sweeter place with gratitude. This Master says, chocolatier. Cookie dough bites. I know, I was looking for those. Should we do that? Yeah. I've always wanted to try these. I always see these um, in America. Cookie dough bites. Oh, I think that's where they live. <laughs> the original chocolate, chocolate chip, chip cookie, cookie dough, dough bites. Bite size cookie dough in creamy milk chocolate. These, Made in the USA. These also say try them frozen. I used to get these at the movies all the time because I love cookie dough. I remember sneaking tastes when I was a kid and my mum was baking. I thought I was getting away with it, but my mum told me years later she knew. <laughs> Mums. How funny. So I really hope this does taste like cookie dough then. Thank you. Thank you. Wonder what the chocolate will be like. Yeah. Mm. Actually, it does taste like cookie dough. It's got that grainy taste. Yeah. Show me about the chocolate. Mm. It's almost a bit like the cookie dough bite you get in um, Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. Mmm. But as you say, I think the chocolate's throwing it off. It's a bit like chocolate lets it down. Overpowering. I I wonder if you can get the cookie dough just on its own without the chocolate. Mmm. Mm. They are good though, aren't the they? The cookie dough in there is good. Mm. But because of the chocolate, it puts it down to a yeah. seven for me. Puts it down to like a five for me. I'm so glad I finally tried them though. Mm. Yeah, maybe just a six. No, I think let's try the trolley. <gasps> Yay! Okay. And then also after that, let's try these sticks. Yeah. Okay, a little fact about me. Trolley strawberry puffs are probably one of my favorite sweets ever. Do you know what though? The trolley puffs that I've had have been made in like Germany or somewhere, oh, really? Europe. Whereas these are actually American. Do you mean you've just had like the Picamex ones? No. Or do you mean you've actually had I've the had trolley? the brand trolley. Oh, really? But this trolley brand is from Illinois, I think it says. Illinois. IL Illinois. 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 And um, but our one would have been from like Germany oh, or somewhere. Squid gee, smell great. Oh, hard I do like that smell. Harder than I was thinking. Mmm, that flavour. It's like one of the nicest strawberry flavours ever. That is good. I shouldn't buy one of them. Yeah, it is good, to mm. be fair. 10 out of 10. It's probably like an eight for me, it's not a 10. Yeah. But it is good. These were a childhood favorite. It's basically fruit flavored sugar powder in a paper tube. Rip off the end and pour it into your mouth. So we had stuff like this growing up. They were called sherbets though. So I wonder yeah. if these are gonna be like sour. What flavor have you got? It is weird. I got isn't Maui it? Punch. I, I totally get that sugar is in all of these things. It's funny but that it you're is literally weird that just you're literally eating. just giving a stick with sugar, flavored yeah. sugar. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, it's kind of sherbet Mmm. Oh my god. What flavor is that cherry? Mango. <laughs> in the UK, you can get um, one this long, which is called a sherbet rainbow or something. Really? It was only 10p. I used to get it every oh, Saturday at one. school, at school, at um, dancing. Mm. Your tongue's already blue. Mm. That's mine. Just like red. Do you want to try that? Maui punch is delicious. 
Childhood Kate would love those. Ooh. Yeah, that's not as tangy actually. Childhood Kate would probably be. Want a bit of this one? Because that hasn't actually been in my mouth. That's tangy, isn't it? Is it? Don't you think? No. Okay, fine. <laughs> Childhood Kate would probably give those about a nine. Let's Ooh, see the three let's jelly beans. Let's see the three things. jelly beans. So that one's technically for you because she said here about you. Yeah, but you can have it as well. Right. How cute is Look, that? Little mini packs. But do you know what it says on the back? Beer. So in here, serving size five bags, and there's one serving. So like they're actually saying that your serving is to have all of those. Oh really? That's quite good. They're like um, iridescent and they're like champagne-y gold. Cut the other two really out. Cool. We also have Tabasco jelly beans. <laughs> and then we have champagne flavored jelly beans. Well, pop the champagne, break out the cologne. Here, take my Kleenex wipe that lipstick what away. What song is that? What a surprise. Now, you're the beer connoisseur, so you have to tell us. They do have, oddly enough, they do have a draft beer kind of smell. And just to clarify everything, it says alcohol free. <laughs> so if you want to get that beer fix, just have these. Oh, I'm feeling a bit drunk. Oh, these are harder than normal. Maybe because it had to have beer in it. I'm not sure them. they taste like beer. It's a bit more like soap. They do have an essence, but when you finish the beer, and say you came to a pub and having not drunk or smelled beer, yeah. and there's a pint there that's finished and it's just the bubbles. Kind of just Is smells like the smells bubbles. Like? Nice top, by the way, Kate. Where'd you get that? Thank you. Baby, Baby Gap. Gap. <laughs> Two for one sale, hot topic. <laughs> Who's watched Drill But Taylor? That's probably one of the best films out there. Hey, David Blaine, 15 more days and you win the world record. <laughs> now, does this contain alcohol? See this? That's my wing, and you threw her under there. Ah, English, my native tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not able often to quote many movies, able yeah. to quote many movies, but Gilbert Taylor mm. is just one of them. I don't know if that's champagne, but it's really good. I wish champagne tastes mm. like that. They're nice. It's like a- um, Karate, Kung Pao, Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Panda Express is so good. <laughs> when I had Panda Express in the past, I'd have orange Praying chicken. Mantis. <laughs> I don't think what else there is. Mmm. Mm. These ones are delicious. Have you had one of these yet? No, I'm a bit scared. Cute. Oh, it's much harder. Yeah, and it's up. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is strong, though. You're such a corma. Oh, yeah. Just hit my throat. Oh! <laughs> Wow, my tongue is burning. Oh, they okay. are quite strong, surprisingly. They are so strong, my tongue is still burning. These are my favourite. These are really good. Don't buy them expecting them to taste like champagne. But it's a really nice, really almost like fruity flavour. And then I would actually say the beers next, and then the Tabasco. Oh, I can um, still taste it now. These would be really good, like little gifts for like a hen do or like a wedding favour, mm. wouldn't it? We have Gobstopper. Oh, these are the chewy ones. Our cousin Millie used to love these. Really? Maybe we saved the rest for her. And then she also used to love Razzles. But these aren't the Razzles that I've ever seen. These are Razzles Fizzles. Fizzles? Fizzles. It says first it's candy, then it's gum. But these ones look different because they're almost like doubled up in flavour. So we've got strawberry banana, orange pineapple, lemon lime, blue raspberry, Apple grape. I'm, I'm, these look awesome. Just isn't that like the best packaging ever? I love the American like paper, mm. like. Packaging. And in in films they just like rip the top off, but I can never do it. They're probably pre-cut them in films. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I got double on the first go. So I I used to love Gobstoppers growing up, but I'm just too impatient. I can't for that now. So the fact that these are gobstopper chewy. Oh, well, you can chew them. Yeah, just mm. straight into it. Not that chewy. Uh -huh. In a way, they're kind of similar to these. Yeah, runs, yeah. I reckon you're probably still meant to suck them for a bit first. I'm too impatient for all that. Mm. They're nice. Do you want me to try and rip the top of this? Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It's like a plastic lining. There's definitely a plastic lining. Three, two, one. Whoa! You're not fizzy. Don't forget to chew them. Mm, so mm, mm, mm. literally fizzing. But you know what? 
I'm kind of thinking, is that because of our Tabasco tongues? Maybe. It's making it even worse. Mm. That's so fizzy. It's like I've got a bath bomb in my mouth. They Ooh. really are fizz... Fizz... Fizz-tastic. Like they fizz so much. I got. I didn't even get to enjoy the flavour because the fizz was so strong. They fizz so much I swallowed most of the rest of the sweet. <laughs> it was like disappearing in the back of my throat like... That was a very strange experience. We've got a new member of the team. Her name's Penny. She's joining us. She just us does through. some of the editing. She does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just had a hard day work yeah. editing our videos. Yeah. When it get when Matt gets tired, Penny takes over. You're wondering what's going on here, Penny, with all the light. Eh? Oh, isn't she yeah. just so sweet? All the cameras. What's going on? So what a lot of people have, don't know Penny, but more know Bob. Bob, yeah. So this is Penelope, Bob's daughter. Also known it's as because Bob's Penny more outgoing. Penny's no, a lot shy. Tired girl. Are you tired? You're gonna go for a sleep now. Okay. You've, You've just barked at the postman, and now you're gonna go for a nap. Yeah, it's hard life. Hard life. Look, her eyes are just like how I yeah. feel. Yeah. <sighs> is she already? Starburst, summer splash. Let's do that first. So look, so these sound fun. Strawberry watermelon, hello. Hello. I love strawberry, I love watermelon. Hello, Just... get in my mouth. <laughs> hello, it's Is it me? me. I was one. Lemon lime, mm. cherry cooler, and grape slushy. Grape slushy. Summer splash. <laughs> Just what you want. Summer, summer splash. <laughs> This film's gonna be a real summer splash. An accent. Snapper. 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 Crispy. Oh, yeah. Snapper. Snapper. I wanna get a strawberry watermelon one. That was when I was on a real sugar high, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. Happiness in my mouth. With like that hubba mm. bubba. I taste like that. Very good. I wish we got that here. Mm. Something about the strawberry with the watermelon mm. is just so good. That flavour on its own, 10 out of 10. 10? I think a 9. Ooh, we've got one thing left. Can we do it? Yes, we, we can. can. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You can do it, put your back into it. I can do it, put your ass into it. <laughs> family friendly, beat that out. Okay, last but not least. What, in family friendly stuff are you not allowed to say ass? Probably not, no. Oh, really? Ghirardelli, inspired by our brownie mix. Oh, they've got brownie Because we, they do have a baking line, don't yeah. baking, because they've got... I was um, going to say, what, a line of bacon? <laughs> Ghirardelli back bacon. Because yeah. they've got um, morsels, as they call yeah. it, white chocolate and that. So this is Ghirardelli milk chocolate brownie. And so far, we've always liked the Ghirardelli stuff, haven't we? Yeah. Thank you. I reckon this is going to be really chocolatey. So it does have a centre. Mm. I was expecting this to be overly chocolate. Mm, but it's not. But it's not. It's actually quite mild and it's mm. really nice. I think I just prefer their caramel one. Mm. I think the caramel one's the top. Because it's hard when you add something dry into the middle that doesn't have another texture. Like if it had a crunchy texture, great. Because it's just like chocolate and then like a chocolate soft thing in the middle. It's just a bit lost, isn't it? I thought this was going to be too chocolatey for me. And I was thinking, oh, what a shame, because it's Ghirardelli and I really like that. That is actually really good. And the more aftertaste, it's like I've just eaten a brownie. That's really nice. But you do still like it, though, don't you? No, I like it, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, because we had Ghirardelli with the caramel, yeah. we were just like, that's the, the best The caramel is still definitely my favorite. But this is up there, that's actually really nice. And I reckon if you like melt that bit, that'd be mm. delicious. I'm probably going to give that an eight and a half. I'd probably give it a seven. Really? Yeah. I really like that. I, I thought, thought you were going to love this. It. I thought really I was going to love it too. Maybe that's why I don't like it that Maybe much. Maybe because you had such a high expectation. I had high hopes. I had high, high Gotta hopes. Gotta have high hopes for, for a living. living. This is like a sing-along, this one. Yeah. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Mm. Thank you so much, Autoly. I am so glad we have finally tried your box after such a long 
journey here. Yeah. I'm glad it's here and we've been able to try it now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed it, did you? I really enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Autoly. That was such an amazing box. We have actually sent you something back, which we hope you enjoyed. And for anyone watching, if you would like to try our British candy, we will leave a link down below and up there so you can get yourself some and you can try it. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.